excuse me. Please. <laughs> well, I'm sure we all realize there's a little change in procedures. I look forward to coming in here and having a session with you and briefing all very carefully sequestered until 9 o'clock tonight on the State of the Union, but in view of the tragedy that has befallen us, I don't think we'll do that. I know that you're interested in keeping up with this as I am also to find out the extent of it, what has taken place. So I just wanted to say hello and appreciate you coming here. Maybe we can do the other thing another time. Mr. President, can you uh, give us your comments on the tragedies and uh, so that we can tell the American people your words, your thoughts? Well, what can you say? Uh, it's a horrible thing. That, all of us have witnessed it and actually seen it take place. I just can't rid myself of it. the thought of the sacrifice of the families that have been watching this also, families of those people on board and what they must be going through at this point. I'm sure all of America is more than saddened feels the great weight of this and wish it was either that there was something we could do to make it easier for those who have suffered such a loss. Mr. President, what is the latest word you've gotten? Is it, have you gotten any definitive word on the condition? We have no more information than you yourselves have that has gone on there in the case of having to wait. Mr. President, do you want to see all systems halted until we find out explicitly what happened in this tragedy? I do have confidence in the people that have been running the program. This is the first in one of the 56 some flights uh, that something of this kind has happened. I certainly want everything done that can be done to find out how this could have happened and to ensure against this happening again. But there again, I have to say I'm sure that the people that have to do with this program are determined to do that right now. And I'm quite sure also look at the safety measures that sometimes those I was looking on have gotten a little impatient with when flights have been aborted and it hasn't seemed as if the situation, well, it seems that they were taking things too seriously. Now we know they weren't. And so I'm confident that there will be no flight until they are absolutely as certain as human beings can be that it is safe. Mr. President, do you think it raises questions about having citizens on board the ship? We're all citizens, and uh, I don't think anyone's ever been on that isn't a volunteer. I, I know I've heard many times from other people that have tried to give me reasons why they or someone like them should be included in flights of this kind. So, no, I, that is the last frontier. The most important frontier, we have to say that the space program has, has been most successful, most effective, and I guess, I guess we've been so confident of it that it comes as such a tremendous shock when something of this kind happens. Will you still go on? ahead, sir, with your uh, message tonight? What? Will you go ahead with your message tonight? Yes, I like that have to go on. Mr. President, are you afraid there will be any public backlash against the space program because of this tragedy? I shouldn't think so, and I'm certainly uh, the reason I could do. express an opinion the other way. You know, we don't, uh, we have accidents in every line of transportation, and we don't uh, do away with those, those things. That, They've probably got a better safety record than we have out of the highways. Do you think it was a mistake to put the teacher on board? Do you think it was a mistake to put the teacher on board? No, again, as I say, this is a thing, and this is what the whole space program is leading for. Is <coughs> use. Yes, Mr. President, will you tell us exactly who brought you the news and exactly what you thought and said at that point? We were all sitting in there, and I was preparing myself for your questions on the State of the Union address when uh, 
the vice president and John Poindexter came into the room and all they could say at the time was that they had received a flash that the uh, space shuttle uh, had exploded. And we immediately went into the adjoining room where I have a TV set to get on this because there was no direct word and except that word that it be made public also. There we saw the replaying and saw the thing actually happen. It just was, I say it, a very traumatic experience. Well, how does it affect your State of the Union speech tonight? I mean, we were told you were going to give an upbeat, the State of the Union is good, uh, you know, optimistic speech. This has got to cast a pall on it, doesn't it? Yes, I'm sure it does. And certainly, there could be no speech without mentioning this. but. Can't start governing the nation because of a tragedy of this kind. So, yes, we'll continue. Mr. Mr. President, President, philosophically, um, do you take some solace in the fact that over the years the American space program has been remarkably safe, that we've not lost uh, as many people as we've been led to believe have been lost in the Soviet Union? Well, I think we've all had a great pride in that, and uh, it is a kind of at least something to cling to right now, although it doesn't lessen our grief at what has just taken place. Mr. President, uh, sending of civilians in space was based on the assumption that it was routine to go in, into space, that it was now safe, even a teacher uh, we could send up. Do you think that notion has now, uh, is now gone? Well, what, would you, what could you say other than that? Here was a program that had a 100% safety record. The only other fatality did not take place in a space shuttle. It took place in a, uh, a type of capsule. Mr. President, so many children one have you know, been a part of this particular right. space shuttle because of the teacher, and they're doing classrooms. Can you, you do something to help them, uh, say something that would help them to understand? I think people closer to them uh, would you just tell them they've got to be doing that to get them the press right now. Uh, as I say that, the world is a hazardous place, it always has been. Pioneering, we've always known that there are pioneers that give their lives out there on the frontier. And now this has happened. It probably is more of a shock to all of us because of the fact that uh, we see it happen now. Thanks to Carl Arnott. Just hearing about it as if something happened miles away. But uh, I, think, I think those that have to do with them must at the same time make a claim to them that life does go on and uh, you don't back up and quit some worthwhile endeavor because of tragedy. Do you have any special Sir, do you have any special thoughts about Krista McCullough, who I think it was in this room, was named as the first teacher? What are your thoughts about her today? can't get out of my mind. Her husband and her children, but then that's true of the families of the, the others. There's probably more so because the families of the others have been a part of this whole program. I knew that they were in a hazardous occupation, but knowing that they were there and watching, this just is 